Donovan. It's another week. It's another week. Donovan Sadiq. DK in the house. Yeah. And, you, and you guys are listening to 2D Hard Way. And of course, our roving intern and student, <laughs> Deanna it, Moses. And she has come to save us and take us to the promised land. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like there's some money involved in that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, it's 2D Hard Way. We got a lot of uh, topics to talk about, a lot of stuff's going on. In the world today, um, Dee, we've been looking at your page. You've been uh, interacting with people from all over the globe. Uh, yeah, apparently. You know, they don't like what you're saying because you don't know what you're talking about. But, you know, of course, you know, it's the, it's the Native Indians that were really the... Yeah, the, I, I, one thing I try not to do is get on, you know, the internet and lie. Not on yeah. purpose anyway. Yeah. Now, occasionally, maybe I've, you know, miss construed some facts, uh, mm -hmm. but it wasn't on purpose. That's rare, though. I really try to do my research and... You know, try to be as factual as possible. Of course, sometimes facts are debatable, but that don't mean it's not the truth. So. Right, because we are... Uh, we're not always right, right? but we we're ain't always, always wrong. wrong. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. so Deanna, uh, you're on spring break right now, so you head down to Huntington Beach, uh, Malibu or something. Got your mm -hmm. swimsuit, going to go out there mm -mm. in Vegas. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. For, for a couple weeks. <laughs> no, I really have no plans. You know, you're up there at University of San Francisco? Something like that, yeah. Or Cal State, San Francisco? Which one is it? San Francisco State. San Francisco State. Yeah. And, uh, of course, that's near Berkeley. Yeah. And a very liberal area in the 60s and 70s. That's where Richard Pryor really got it, came into mm -hmm. his own, and all the drug scene and stuff. So, so, so what are you taking? What am I taking? Yeah. What drugs am I yeah, taking? Yeah, yeah. Dr 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 Not what <laughs> drugs are you taking? <laughs> yeah, drug <laughs> Well, let me put something yeah. else. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, you guys out there exploring ideas, doing the ganja. No, actually, school-wise, sorry, I keep getting the table back up. I'm uh, taking a lot of sexuality classes for some reason. Hmm. Like, communication and sexuality. Okay. Okay. Now, I mean, how's everything going? I mean, grade-wise? Good. I mean... Now, let me ask you this. You're up in San Francisco. Are there a lot of black people up there? No. I mean... No. Like, UCR is 5%. It's always been 5% black at its max. I think mm -hmm. San Francisco is, like... Less than seven. Less than seven. Yeah. It's probably more than us. So, okay. so that's really good. All right, but we're, we're going to bring uh, Deanna in, and she's going to give us a, a roving report on the massage parlors of San Francisco. <laughs> the bathhouses? Yeah, the bathhouses, the things that are going on up there, because I'm very sure you're aware you've heard about the bus up there, because it's on the news up there all the time up there, like, you know, these Asians are busted for... Golly, you know, the, the, uh, the happy endings? The happy oh, endings. Of, you know, they used to have bathhouses where men would just straight up go, and they're like these... Pools, mm -hmm. they're just like straight up going for sex. Like, yeah, yeah. well, you know, you got to remember in the Chinese Asian culture that is normal, but they're here in America, which is illegal. And, you know, so sorry. Okay. Well, we'll get into that. But uh, we got a lot of topics we want to talk about. The, the subject of what we're talking about today is why do black men do not date? black women and there's a whole plethora Sorry. of reasons why we don't do that i particularly love black women the problem is i have a problem with the attitudes the divaness and such that and i'm gonna um talk about I that i see you took a bunch of notes so you got yes. a lot of stuff to say and i have, have a, a bunch of, of notes and a glass to, of wine to help you with this yeah so i can stay calm <laughs> you know i get a little upset <laughs> But I'm, you know, and I'm going to be doing this periodically. And tell me if you guys agree or disagree. Oh, well, you know I will, yes. brother. And okay. a, another good reason is you have a daughter here, mm -hmm. and not that you guys have that problem, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, our generation have taught these young oh, ladies, absolutely, uh, which is part of the problem. Absolutely. So, one of the reasons that they say we uh, black men do not date black women is, and spe and um, I'm speaking as a black woman. Okay, so you're speaking from yeah, what you black, hear black women's okay. perspective of what the black women are saying or why we don't date them. Okay, got it. Okay. We don't see... Okay, so basically, you're taking the black women's points and now you're going to refute yes, them or rebut them. them. Right. Okay, got it. Or I might agree. Okay, well, okay. let's go for it. Okay. Number one, we don't seem as fun. Unfortunately, black women have often so many things we are trying to juggle that it can sometimes become second nature to not smile or take a moment to say hello. Okay. Fun can take a backseat when we're fighting to pay bills, continue our education, and make a name for ourselves. Because of this, some black men believe that women of other races maintain a more light, airy, fun girl approach to love in their adult years, which they ultimately find more attractive. 
They feel that after a while, our focus shifts from being the fun girl girlfriend to being more practical instead of solely concerned with ensuring the house is clean. Meals are made and children are taken care of. Those things are most important, of course, but remember that relationships need full-time nurturing and maintenance too. Hi guys! What's up, girl? Hi! <laughs> hey! How are you? Okay, so where are we going? Well, I was thinking... <laughs> oh! Bless you! Thank you. Well, I was thinking I'm sorry, what did you just say? I said bless you. And what did you just say? Thank you. Well, nobody bless you but me, my nigga! Since I've been in your life, I've been a blessing, right? You got transportation, right? You got a new job! Yo, sit your ass up and sit back! Why you gotta do that? That's my sister! I don't care she got ass and titties. I'm from the South. That shit is legal. Man, that crazy shit is for the birds! <laughs> now give me your wallet so we go to Disneyland, the happiest place on Earth. Come on now, you know the drill. I'm sorry. Don't apologize to nobody, my nigga! Even when I'm wrong, I'm right! Give me your titties up! Alright, we're going to go to Disneyland, the happiest place on Earth. Ooh, y'all brother and sister, you never been. We're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> smile. I said smile! I'm gonna have to agree with that. Because, okay. Because what did I always tell you? Uh, if you ever go to an airport, watch, people watch, sit and people watch. Watch the black women. It could be nine in the morning. Okay, you're, you're catching a six o'clock flight. The black chick's fist is already bald. And her teeth is already green. Well, like that comment, I guess mm -hmm. that was from somebody, yeah. a black woman. Mm -hmm. She says she's got things on her mind. Yeah. She's got the heavy burdens of A, B, yeah. C, and D. And Ray, Ray Ray just I, went to jail. She's trying to get, she's trying to get the, uh, the, the money up. Well, I don't feel like I really need to smile. You know, because I've right. actually heard a lot of, uh, um, especially a lot of black women. I don't think I've ever heard any, uh, another uh, woman from another race say this. Um, stop asking me to smile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe I'm not mad. I just don't feel like smiling. I just rude for you well, to ask me to smile. Well, I'm well, thinking, well, well, what if I passed you and I said hello? What, what's wrong with saying? Maybe hello? I'm not in the mood to say hello to you. Okay. Okay. What do you think, Dan? Uh, I mean, I ain't got no kids, so I can't relate to that. On well, that I mean, that's well, what I I'm my, yeah, I'm like, what? You know, feeling. <laughs> <laughs> but I was gonna say, I mean, I don't know if it's true or not. I think I can see how it can be true, just off of like. Not saying, like, oh, we have stuff on our mind, but just, we might not be seen as fun just off of, like, preconceived notions about us. Mm -hmm. Or, like, how society sees us. It must be nice to be someone of another race or, say, a white woman mm -hmm. who doesn't have the social constructions and issues that people think about them on them like we do. So. Give me an example. What kind of, of restrictions do you guys have? <laughs> well, one that, you know, like... Black men or even other men think that we're loud or we're angry. So where was you at last night, Carrie? Ooh, that's too aggressive. Just scale it back a little bit. Just say, hey! hey how you doing? How you so baby? Doing? so what y'all do last night? Carrie, I'm gonna get with you later, bro, all right? Yo, close my door and sit your ass Ooh. back, my nigga. So what y'all do last night? Baby, I we told you we went to the movies. What did y'all do? We was fucking with some bitches. Oh, wow. But, but, but they was for me, though. They, they was for me. Yeah, they was for, yeah, they was for Carrie. They were always for Carrie. How many? About four, five, six, seven of them. Oh, and he six. said he ain't had no girl. No girl. <laughs> you catch the Uber, my nigga. <laughs> my bad, bro. <laughs> Before you leave, give me your wallet. My grandma gave me this wallet. All right, just give me the cash. Get your ass out of here. You know you done fucked up, right? But that's true. But <laughs> you haven't talked to me to know if it's true. Well, well, you can't generalize everybody, but in general, it's true. Or like stupid stuff like, oh, they don't want to get their hair wet so we ain't going to the school. I mean, but I'm saying if I truly wanted to go, where there's a will, there's a way. Sure. You haven't asked me yet. Mm -hmm. Or you just assume that I'm just oh she's no fun, so you don't know. I mean I'm fun, so I don't right. have that issue. Right. But well, well, well. You know, again, you have, you have to look at it like this too. Uh, you're always smiling, and you know you were raised properly. And uh, a credit uh, to your mom for uh, doing that. By myself with yeah. A pack of wolves. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 the thing is, you know, you have uh, you're very grounded versus people that aren't very grounded, and that, that's the difference. So when so when you're walking around, you have an air about you that says, "I'm going to be somebody. I'm going to do something without being angry about it." I mean, you have an attitude like, "Don't fuck with me." But I was going to say, yeah, I, you have that. But well, I think too. 
because I, I have this conversation, uh, me and Al actually have this conversation quite a bit mm -hmm. in regards to people. And let's just say, <laughs> you know, like, uh, you ever hear people say, I'm not in the mood. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like it's not playing with me. I'm not in the mood. Oh, I'm in a bad mood today. And I'll say, yeah, I'm I usually honestly, when I hear that. But I honestly have not been in a bad mood. What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? You might be in a bad mood. What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? I said, I usually force it in at that point. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, ne uh, never, never mind. You know where I'm going with that. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, but even then, you better get in the mood. Yes, Because exactly. you're going to be with somebody else who is in the mood. Exactly. You know? I mean, I just, that that's never been my, that's never <laughs> been my issue, okay? Um. But so anyway, <laughs> well, according to uh, Mrs. <laughs> Moses' father, that was the issue. Oh, well, that could be a whole other <laughs> show, so okay? Um, no, I just I, I've never been one of those type of people. I'm in a bad mood. I'm like, mm -hmm. stop playing with me. I'm just not in the mood today. Like, why are you? Okay, let's say if you you're, you're having a bad day. Yeah. What, what does that got to do with me? Right? Why does everybody else have to suffer? Exactly. You walk into a building, everybody got to know you, and you ain't in the mood. You know, or. As Al always says, he goes to Walmart and he goes to a checker who happens to be black. She's yeah, scowling story, yeah. and she's mad and she's really not bad speaking. Houston. Really and bad. you just almost know if you ask her, is everything okay? And I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> I had a bad, I'm in a bad mood. I, I never I'm so, you know, regarding Deanna, I don't, I, I don't think she can ever tell you. Mm -hmm. Now, she's seen me vexed. Right. But I'm not one of those people who just mad all day. All but day. she, she, I don't think she could ever tell you, oh, my mom's not in a good mood right, right now. You right. understand? Right. Wait, I don't think she could ever tell you that. And I, and I always taught her, I mean, hell, suck it up. Yeah. Life is Life tough, is, but yeah. that, that ain't got nothing to do with somebody else. And it's not always going to be like that 24-7. Plus, you don't know if a man across the way is looking at you and you all. Mm -hmm. And you know, and he's it, like, oh shit, I can't approach. So to and, your point of math, gotta be able to approach yes, you. Yes, exactly, and exactly that. That that is exactly what I'm saying. There are, uh, I believe, black women are one of the, the most beautiful things on the you earth. You better believe it. Okay, okay. You better believe but, it. But what makes them ugly is that attitude. Well, some with black mm -hmm. women, mm -hmm. you can back me up on this or say, well, say, well, say I don't have an attitude. As you said in your first mm -hmm. comment, I have got a lot of stuff going on. Right. I was say, can't relate. Right, but. But if I know you and I see you like that all the time, what am I going to think? What's up, baby? Who's the bitch? Oh my God, we Who's the it? bitch, hey, Carrie? Ain't no bitch. What are you talking about? You get off of work at 3 o'clock. It's 3.10. It takes you two minutes to clock out and three minutes to walk to the car. Who's the bitch? Ain't no bitch. I'm not fucking nobody. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy because I read your horoscope today and it said that somebody new was going to come into your life. The only girl I talked to today was Monica. Oh, Monica? Yes! Oh, okay, Monica, she cool. That's your friend? Yeah, that's my friend. You don't need no friends, my nigga. I'm your only girlfriend. I got 20 different personalities. You can just choose which bitch you want to be with today. Who you want to be with? Hey, choose! Stephanie! Who the fuck is that? I don't know. I was just choosing a name. You said your name. Daphne. Oh, okay, cool. Baby, I want to be with you, too. You got paid today? Okay, give me your wallet so we can go get our hair done. <laughs> Relax. Relax. Well, no, I mean, I definitely agree. I don't think you should be. I think you, whatever you got going on, maybe fix it. But it shouldn't be something that you wear on the outside, right? On yeah. a constant basis. Yeah. Okay. Here's another thing. We look like we can't be bothered, which kind of goes into what right. we said previously. We've heard men tell us that black women often come across as if we don't want to be bothered when we were out and about in public, whether in a store or leaving the office. We often appear more focused on what's ahead or the next stop, and not on meeting someone new. I'm have a problem with that one. Okay. You guys get dressed up. You put these stupid weaves in your hair and all that other stuff, right? Why are you doing that to attract? To get attention of men, correct? Mm -hmm. And then when we we say something, you want to jump down our throats. Well, can I play devil's advocate Absolutely. here? Maybe the men who are saying that, mm -hmm. maybe she wasn't interested in that man. Okay. I mean, it could, could very well could be the case. Although I would like to say this: if you're not interested in that man, you don't need to chop his balls off verbally. <laughs> right. Say you know, no thank yeah, you. No you thank know, I'm you not interested or, or whatever. But get away from me or, and all that. Oh, or, or, or take the compliment and say thank you. Yes. Thank you. Like I have a friend 
She said, you know, I, I know how to give a man a look. Mm -hmm. You know, if he if I don't want to talk to him, I, I know how to give him the look. Mm -hmm. And I asked her, I said, why you got to do all that? Right. Why not just say, you know what, I'm not, you know, no thank you. Or, or like you said, thank you. Thank you. And you, go you ain't got to emasculate the, the dude and mm -hmm. castigate him and yeah. castrate him. Because I, I've seen in some situations where, where, where I, I will look at somebody mm -hmm. and I say, oh, you look very nice today. And then they get an attitude. Or I say, looking good. Well, maybe she thinks too. Oh, this is going to lead to something else. He's going to ask me for my number. Or he's going to try and, to push up on me. And take, take no, the number I, I mean, and throw I totally away. agree. You don't have to, you know, be salty with people. What do right. you think? I mean, I'm going to hand myself that shit up. People, <laughs> couple be all the time. I'm like, yes, keep them coming. <laughs> right, <laughs> yes. right, right, right. Yes, I mean, especially when I'm at school or, like, on in transportation, since, like, out here it's sad. Your guys is, like, Lyft and Uber <laughs> doesn't have the pool where like you get yeah. like thrown in Ubers with people all the time. Mm -hmm. So we have that. I can't count how many times. I could go through my phone right now and show you all the numbers I get from guys trying to talk to me. And I'm like, okay, like you're not, I mean, if you text me, you do. If you don't, you don't. It's not that serious. It's not like a, oh, he trying to get with me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just, I don't well, care. Well, are you surprised that guys are trying to, trying to get I know I'm cute. It's not yeah. a surprise. Well, I mean, I well, mean, not in a cocky way. Yeah, like. yeah, but I mean, you, you know, you, <laughs> You're confident in, not in, in, a, in, in not in a he better talk to me type of way, but I mean, you ain't got to be a rocket scientist to see. Yeah, that but w when you meet these guys, do you tell them that your dad's an ex-marine in, in fifty one fifty? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I think you need to put a disclaimer out there because they don't want them problems later on. I mean, I doubt those. So. Yeah, so they're gonna make it out of San Francisco. <laughs> but, I mean, all right, right, right. And uh, speaking of San Francisco, uh, pretty expensive out there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. And you're going to school up there, so your parents must be rich. That's right, God damn it. <laughs> we right. balling. Okay, okay. We, we got, that's right. Now, one of the number one things that uh, women do say about us is, or about themselves, that they think that we think is we don't offer enough support. Is there some truth to the perception that some of us can overlook a black man or not be as uplifting because instead we think they need to have already arrived before we give them a chance? Wait, why can you repeat that? Run it back a little Okay, bit. so... Uh, it says, is is there some truth to the perception that some of us can overlook a black man or not be as uplifting because instead we think they need to have already arrived before we give them a chance? Like they need to have their stuff together yeah. first? I mean, that's anybody. I mean... Do you actually believe what you just said? I feel like, I mean, not like in the sense of you need to have all, but I mean, I'm not going to like entertain, be with you. You're like crazy, like I got to like, uplift you and mentally pep talk you every five seconds because you're, like, about to jump off the edge. Like, why the... Okay, let me ask you this. In your generation especially, why is it that most girls your age, in your age bracket, are dating thugs and guys that have no future First whatsoever? First of all, I don't date thugs. No, no, I'm so... just... I, I just said... Yeah, I, I just <laughs> said in your generation... That, you know, okay, why won't thugs. you date a thug? Right. Me? Because, yeah. like I said, I don't... Like, if you're not trying to get it or got not saying you have to have it because I don't have it mm -hmm. all together but if you're not trying like I'm trying I don't want to carry you mm -hmm. and I don't expect you to carry me but but a lot of your girlfriends are dating guys that have no future so if I was a uh, let's say I just uh, I'm a young black guy I okay. just came out of jail okay. um I was in a um oh yeah you know I was I was convicted of uh child molestation but it wasn't child molestation uh -huh. it was you know it was trumped up charges yeah and you know they 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 they, they was yeah. they, they tried to take yeah them, i had to up. take the the right. deal because if i didn't i, I was looking at life years, yeah. yeah so uh -huh. i took the deal would, would you consider dating i don't know okay what if i told you well you know I, I was in there for shoplifting and you know you know continual shoplifting and i was in juvenile we, would you date me then no you don't Continual shoplifting. Well, that I was like a well, 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 I'm talking about as a juvenile. You know, I've been you know arrested several times for shoplifting, and you know. Did you just recently go to jail for shoplifting? I just got out thirty days ago. <laughs> we we could have been good friends, <laughs> right? But, <laughs> right, but you know, a lot of uh, uh, girls in your your age bracket are dating and having children with these type of men. Because those are the ones that are easy to get. But the prison guy. The thugs, yeah, they're, they're, the way that I was told when I was younger by my dad, <laughs> okay. are those are the ones that need someone to take, they need, you see, like, these, like, women that you, or, like, how, with these men, it's because mm. she's, like, taking care of them, they need yeah. that support, so they're easy, they will go with anybody. Mm. But I've seen some very beautiful women just wreck, wreck their lives. I, I That's know. a mental thing, that's on them. You know, so, Okay. 
Well, yeah. I would say, you know, from a woman my age, which is a little bit older than her. Yeah, just I mean, a little I mean, bit. You had her when you were 12? Right? Yeah, no, 10. <laughs> 10. 10. <laughs> gotcha. um, I would say I, I, I understand that comment, mm-hmm. especially at my age. Mm-hmm. Listen, okay? I, I, I've been there before with men who I'm getting myself together. You know, they can't keep a job. It's always a story. But yet, I'm keeping a job. I'm yeah. staying afloat, but yet, I'm getting myself together. No, you not. Wait, wait, you're not you getting yourself, yourself together. together. The McDonald's is hiring, but you refuse to work Oh, no, because, you know, that's, a, that's beneath me. You're not getting yourself together. That's an excuse that you want to continue using mm-hmm. in order to, for me to stay in a relationship and to help invest in you yeah. so you can be, you know, you know what, at my age... And I'm with a man that's like that, but you need you, you need to be all you can be. be. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, the best garbage man. Whatever, the best whatever it is. I'm not saying you got to be the executive of this, yeah. that, and the other. You just need to be. Listen, I I don't want to be paying for dinner all the time. Mm-hmm. I don't want to hear all oh, well, the shoot, baby. You know I would, but shit, you know, uh, my baby mama, she got all my money and all. Nah. Well, well, let me let me speak from a man's perspective. Okay, here. speak on it, brother. Uh, me and Amanda are going out to dinner, right? <laughs> Now, I don't have any money. I have no problem. As a matter of fact, I expect her to pay for dinner because guess Why what? Why don't you have money? Uh, I pay the house note. I pay her car bill. Okay, that's, that's I pay all the bills. You're doing too much. Mm-hmm. I Orange. have no more money left. Dollars so. and oranges. You took care of the heavy. You did the heavy lifting. Right. I have no more money. Baby, and oranges. it is my pleasure. <laughs> okay. What okay. you want? Steak lobster? <laughs> right. What okay. do you want? Gotcha. gotcha. I want to go to uh, go to crap. All you, all you can eat, brother. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. And then when you get home, you're going to get some all you can eat because you take... I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'll take care of it. You know what I'm saying? That's a different story. Okay, all right. But I'm, not, I'm talking about these dudes who, like she said, it's mm-hmm. like, well, they, they got a, a story. Mm-hmm. There's a story as to why they stuff is dilapidated. Man, you 50 years old. Are you still? Right, right. Okay, okay, <laughs> uh, dilapidated. Okay, I'm running around in my car that's 15 years old right now. I, listen, you can have a Fred Flintstone car. I don't okay. care what kind of car you, got, you car. got. You got a car because me personally... And that's another thing, you know, maybe we'll get into this too on my mm. segment, um, is sometimes women overlook a good man because they're too busy looking at the outside. Yeah. When I say the outside, they're looking at his clothes or his car. So what? That means he got a car that's 15 years old. He probably ain't got no car payment. He Maybe he's a little bit financially savvy and he ain't trying to get no $500 car note to impress you and you can't be impressed no way. He shouldn't even be getting that kind of debt to try to impress a woman who... You know, feels the need. Oh, I ain't getting in that unless it's a 2016. You know, mm-hmm. any man I'm with, he got the bye, sister. Right. Go get with you a man who will have all that and probably got a couple more like right. you. Um, uh, I, I got to say this for myself and my mentality. Mm-hmm. I like my car. I like what I do. If my significant other wanted a Mercedes, that's her. But don't get me a Mercedes. Yeah, you're not. You don't surprise me. me. That, right. You know, why would no, you? No, 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 no. I don't somebody. mind my significant other. You know, I'll buy her the car she wants. Right. I, I do believe get a person what they want. If you want a Mercedes? Right. I'll get you a Mercedes. Right. But I'm not getting you a Mercedes every four years. That ain't gonna happen. This, the wheels better right. be falling off. Exactly. Off. <laughs> We're gonna do it one time. Get with your rabbit and, getting old, baby. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Got to coordinate. Yeah. Got to coordinate. <laughs> But there are a lot of young ladies like yourself and even in, in, in these Young layers, ladies like me. Yes, that will <laughs> not date a guy because he's not six feet. I don't like tall niggas anyway, so. But still, I mean, what's the difference? Okay, if this guy's 5'5", five, five, he could be a millionaire. Because he's not six feet, you wouldn't date him? Again, now those are women who are of over have overlooked good men mm-hmm. behind them being silly. And 9.5 times out of 10... That woman ain't, ain't none of the stuff she asking that man to be. She like got a bus pass and she a, wanted to have a Mercedes. There's a flip side to this, too. <laughs> it's like, yeah, the, there's women who won't date, but it's like, they're not the only women. You looking for these, we, these blazed out video vixen looking women. Yeah, like, yeah, of course they're not checking for you. You need to know your role. Like, you not in your lane. Like, I mean, that's like me going into a store that I know don't sell my size, but I'm going to keep going in there looking mm. for my, like, Right. That's right. common sense. That's actually a pretty good point. Like, I mean, right. Yeah. You chasing somebody who was unattainable, mm-hmm. who, like she said, if they all about their life and you just got a Volkswagen VW from 1967, she probably... Classic. Classic. I mean, that's just the type it's of woman It's like you're hurting is. yourself because, right. like, there probably is somebody who truly would appreciate mm-hmm. that, that you could be happy with, but you're going to be stupid trying to chase these mm-hmm. other women. Like, 
Get out of here. Oh, I, I hear you. Waste some of time. Now, now, I'm glad you brought that up because that goes into our next story. All right, Real now. Real quick, and we're, we're going to get, get, get D in there as well. I want those guys watching. She's single. No, get him in. Are you working? I'm working on it. Yeah, she's working. <laughs> she's single. She ain't married. Put it like that. So you want to put your big in, you can call. 976. <laughs> um, but um, I got to say this, and I, I mean, me and your mom get into this all the time, and we say this all the time. This girl's hair right now, these aren't extensions. This is real. This is real stuff. It's long, and it's natural. And don't get me wrong. I mean, it's Afrocentric. It's beautiful. I mean, you could actually go to the beach with her, and she might get in the water. It's going to go, shh. But yeah, she'll get yeah. in the water. But she'll get in the water. You see what I'm saying? You know what it feels. I mean, it's beautiful. You know, she's chocolate and everything. Um, she's probably a 30. She built like a brick house back in the day, okay? <laughs> like her aunt and her mom. She comes from good genes. So, so if you guys want to holler, 976. I feel like I'm being auctioned on <laughs> yeah. This isn't so, a lemon, I swear. Yeah, it ain't a lemon, but you got to have a... a you know, as, as, as a family member, you got to have a certain income for me before you, right. you, you, you pass the check with me. <laughs> but we're talking about hair and things like that. But that's what I stress with, with black women. You got to be patient. Your hair will grow. Just take care of it and stop looking like clowns. And since we're talking about clowns, <laughs> let's talk about this. You guys have heard in the news that Tamara Braxton recently cut off her hair. I did. And she looks She's cute. gorgeous. Yeah, she did. You can see her face gorgeous. now. Gorgeous. Yeah. And here's an article I want to read to you guys. It's called. She's still wearing that pink eyeshadow. Yeah, you know, you, well, you know, makeup is not a good thing. But um, in the article, it says the Bluebird of Happiness singer didn't just get a, a cute little trim. Her stylist took a pair of pink clippers and buzzed her <laughs> client's head all the way down while Braxton jammed to Bobby Brown. My prerogative. <laughs> of course, the haters did what they do best and mocked Braxton for her decision. Some said that it was a sign of a breakdown. Others suggested that the transformation was pegged to Braxton's public divorce from her formerly fat, big pussy-lipped manager, Vince Herbert. Oh, my. But Braxton cleared the air herself and let everyone know that she, Big Chop, was her prerogative, and there's nothing wrong with that. Here's her quote. I'm over feeling captive. No, I gotta say it like her. I'm over <laughs> feeling captive to a wig, a weed, People, people's comments and opinions. Hell, even my own feelings. Why is it accurate, though? <laughs> I'm concerned. I'm she wrong. captioned a subsequent selfie. <laughs> we can choose to stop these things from having the power and victory over us. And for me, that starts today. Bravo. Because what have I been saying from day one. Well, you know, again, I'm just one of those people that says live and let live to each his own. If you want to do that, I you said. should do that. But I honestly think it's going to take, because she's not the only one. There's a couple other women sure. um, who went mm -hmm. bald. But I honestly think it's going to take women like her in the spotlight, if you will, yes. to start embracing that. Saying, you know what? I'm, I'm beautiful. The wig is maybe a little ridiculous. I never thought any of her wigs looked good. I never did. I either. couldn't. I, I couldn't really see and her face. And you can face. see her edges were gone. I mean, <laughs> geez. I could. I could see her face now. Mm -hmm. And so maybe it's going to take women who are celebrities or whatever you want to call them to say, you know what, women, we love us. Yeah, we're beautiful the way we are. Right. We don't need all this clown stuff. Right. You know, this ain't the. Because uh, her face is really beautiful. Yeah. I mean, well, even, all the Braxton women. Are, well, they even have with all those, the, 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 she's had a lot of work done. But mm -hmm. even with that, it's like, oh, okay, wow, you. You really are a good-looking woman. Yeah, she, but the, she really the, is. the wig situation was just like, it was a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, what do you think about that? I mean, you don't have that problem, but... Uh, I mean, I cut my hair bald once. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, as for her, all of a sudden, you know, she's going through the divorce. She isn't on top like she used to be and all this drama she's going with. I mean, do you, do you think that, you know, all of a sudden she did that because she's not on top and she's like, well, I'm going to start fresh? Which is good. I love America Loves Maybe, Comeback. you know what? I, I don't know. Uh, I kind of don't care, but maybe she did it because she see, you know, these celebrities see Beyonce cut off all her hair because you know that's what mm -hmm. they all follow. Yeah. And now she got inches or something. Okay. But I just feel like personally, like what she does with her hair, I mean, it's her hair, right? Yeah. Like I ain't gonna lose no sleep. Right. Mm -hmm. My hair ain't gonna stop growing or mm -hmm. something crazy. I mean, I think too the people who are the naysayers and the haters, they have very low self esteem. The woman is cutting her hair. She's telling me that's why she's cutting her hair. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we got all these Facebook psychologists, you know, mm -hmm. these Twitter experts on other people's business. If she said that's why she's cutting her hair, that's why she's cutting her hair. 
you want to try to drag a man all off into right. the conversation mm -hmm. and, well, you know, she's doing, so, listen, mind your bald head business. Mm. You know, let her do what she's going to do. Right. Right. Everybody but, got an opinion. But but you know here here's my thing. You're you're a beautician, and my mm -hmm. aunt's a beautician, and I've been around beauty salons all the time. That's why you know I, I realize that right. this is beautiful. I'm talking about your hair. It's us. <laughs> it's black. I have no doubt. You, right. you know I, you know it's strong. You know? Right. Um. But you know when I see these sisters running around looking like clowns, and like I said I saw Tamara's hair being damaged from mm -hmm. what my aunt told me about Tamar. Yeah, Tamar. Yeah. You know, pulling the hair back. Oh I mean, yeah, the, attraction alopecia. I mean, yeah, yeah, the alopecia thing. And it's like I understand you have an image to, to to do, but it ain't worth not looking like yourself and being yourself because a woman's crown is her hair. Oh, absolutely. But then again, you know, beauty comes from within. Sure. So sure. Sure. So, uh, so you know, uh, I, you know, I applaud her, and it's about time. And I wish more women. Yeah, maybe some other women will follow suit. We start you know? doing that, and we got to start loving ourselves before we try to love absolutely and anybody else. Absolutely. And if you know, and I hear the excuse, well, it's because you brothers want us to have all this long hair. If I wanted Becky with the long hair, I'd go get me Becky with the long hair because I live in California. Well, so. I mean, you're gonna let somebody else dictate to you how you look, right? You know, because uh, some man mm -hmm. wants. Listen, if that man wants Becky with the long hair. Uh, no matter how much long blonde hair you get, he ain't gonna want you. Right, exactly. Because he wants the real thing. Yeah, we can get the real thing. Right. Absolutely. So, uh, a quick update to Have any of you guys heard of the Mothers of the Movement? Yes. And the Mothers of the Movement uh, include seven women the mothers of Eric Garner, whose name is Gwen Carr. Trayvon Martin, Sabrina Fulton. Now here's now here's Stop. a don't here, get yourself in no trouble. no I, 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 and I know you picked it up too. Don't get yourself. In Have trouble, you noticed brother. that the mother's last name and the child's last name are two different names? Have you noticed that in these stories? So, so let me go on. Uh, let let me continue if I will. Maybe they got remarried, Donovan. And I was gonna say that. So let me continue, if you will. Maybe there's some strong black <laughs> yes. women and they ain't like, I'm not taking your last name. Dontre Hamilton. Maria Hamilton. Okay. Matched. Okay. Jordan Davis. Lucy Macbeth. Michael Brown. Leslie McSpradden. Hadiah Pendleton. Cleopatra Pendleton Cowley. Okay. So out of the seven... Oh, and Sandra Bland, which is Geneva Reed Veal. Okay. Uh, so out of the seven... Three of them have the same name as okay. the children, which well, is what's really your good. Point, brother? What's so, your point? so here's my so here's my point. Um, okay, these women spoke in support of uh, Hillary Clinton's candidacy for president during the July 26th Democratic okay. National Convention. Clinton had reached out privately to these women in November of the previous year to meet with the women. The mothers of the movement subsequently joined Clinton on the campaign trail to support her candidacy and advocate for an end to all of these killings. Okay, Samira Rice the mother of Tamar Rice, did not join the other mothers in their endorsement of Hillary Clinton. Okay. She did not see an acceptable level of commitment against police brutality from any of the candidates and therefore withheld her endorsement. She did support the other mothers, though, saying in an interview with Fusion, I hope they, they are going to hold her accountable for whatever discussions they had behind closed doors. And, okay. Now, I bring that up to bring this, because we were talking about this on your show and you know, failed black leadership. Mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton... Use these women, and then when it's all over, Hillary Clinton has met with these women at all. She threw the hot sauce out of, out of her bag out of her and purse kept on stepping. And blaming black I don't people. I this shit. Right, right. <laughs> and if you uh, followed Hillary Clinton, uh, the, the dumb poor people voted for Donald Trump, and the uh, affluent right. people voted for her, and all this other stuff like that. But I bring this up is Trayvon Martin's mom, for those that don't know, Sabrina Fulton, she did a rap CD. <laughs> and, uh, you know, good for her. But you see what I'm saying? It's like, why would you, anybody take you seriously and you're doing crazy stuff like this in a serious situation that is... Well, I, I honestly think, um, I think it's irresponsible. Um, um, I think it's an admirable thing that the, um, I, I'm with Samir Rice, Tamir mm -hmm. Rice's mother, mm -hmm. and that I support you guys because we all have common ground, sure. but I don't support what you guys are putting your weight behind. Right. And I think it's a little bit irresponsible because anybody who's done just that much research would know that Hillary Clinton, uh, the, a lot of the policies that her and her husband were for were actually adversary to black people. That's exactly right. Um, and actually, 
probably help put some of those mother's kids who in are no situation. longer here mm -hmm. in that situation. And so now you guys are backing this woman. Of course, many in the black community are like, okay, if, if the mothers of the movement are doing it, then it sh she must be all right. And you said this on your show about the false prophets that they put these people out oh, there absolutely. to make us vote in a certain way. And, and I brought this up to piggyback on that and saying this is what they do and this is the playbook. And it's very rare that somebody will say, hey, 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 no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Right, well, I think a lot of that has to do with uh, the spotlight, fortune, I don't know how much fortune, but fame, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I think you should use that in a good way, but educate people on the right information. Don't do it because you want us to be with her, with her meaning vote for Hillary, when Hillary wasn't for us. I mean, you know, even back in the day, anybody knows that Hillary was a Goldwater girl who, you know, it was a very racist Republican, and she was proud of that. And also that uh, eugenics program that one lady she Yeah, was... Margaret Sanger, that she said that was my hero. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and in addition to all the policies that her husband enacted and exacted upon black people. And so here we are, you know, these mothers are backing this woman, and it's like, why? Why are you doing this? Why, why? Give me one good reason why black people should be with Hillary. Hell, her husband signed a welfare to work program, and it was, besides him, he had two black women mm -hmm. standing there with him, right. saying to the rest of the world, these ratchet ass mm -hmm. bitches here are the reason why we're getting this welfare to work. I mean, they, they, he didn't say that, yeah. but subliminally, that's what it said. The comments and opinions is that of these I'm speaker. just saying. <laughs> but yet, okay, this program here, you got these, you know, um, this uh, welfare to work thing. Let's say these women are going to work. I may, I maybe they man ain't around. Maybe they're not able to raise their children, all this other stuff. So it's like the snowball effect. Sure. So again, you have to ask, what are we with her? What, is she, what has she done that says she was with us? Mm -hmm. She labeled the very boys that are six feet deep now as super predators. And they need mm -hmm. to be made to heal. So again, why are we with her? And look at what... Because uh, she got some damn hot sauce in her right. bag. And, and look at the policy of the Clinton Foundation in the black nations. Everywhere. Go to Haiti. Go Everywhere. to Africa. Wherever the Clinton Foundation was has wreaked devastation on the black population. I mean, they had some false intel and dropped bombs on an aspirin clinic where they thought it was some, some other stuff going on. Mm -hmm. And those are black people. Look at the uh, foreign policy, the Secretary of State, Libya, failed state now. Right. But yeah, we're with her. So again, I see, I would love to be in a room with these women and ask them respectfully, obviously, but why are we, why should we listen to you guys tell us to be with her? And, and, and my question is, they call themselves mother of the movement based on what? Because your child got killed? I, again, I don't have a problem with that whole concept of the mothers of the movement. What movement? That's, well, that's my question. I, I, well, that's a good question, but if I had to answer that, the, the movement of, you know, our boys, but that's nothing new. Right. Our, our boys have been getting murdered. Now we're just seeing it on video, video. and social More media. So. Mm -hmm. so that's nothing new. Okay. But I don't have a problem with the movement itself. Mm -hmm. But what I do have a problem with is it being um, geared in the wrong direction. You're using your political or your celebrity weight to, um, to be dishonest. Okay. You want us to go, I mean, if we think about it. Even just the Democrat Party, the Democrat Party has not ever been helpful to black people. Never. Never. We can lie to them, and they'll deliver for us, and then we just it's just a cycle. We'll never, ever deliver anything for them. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so uh, Deanna, what, what is your take on the Mothers of the Movement? I'm sure you heard of it. You're a college student. I know you're up there in, you know, near Berkeley and doing all that protesting. And... I concur to what she said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, Deanna is a woman of action, not words. So, I mean, she, 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 she'll, she'll tell you straight up that's how it is. But um, in the local news, I want to follow this up. We've been talking about it on my show and okay. all the shows because I have found out and we found out people are not informed of what's going on outside of the United States. Right. Once they build that wall, that wall isn't to keep Mexicans out and people out. It's to keep us here. Right. That's what that so-called wall is being built for. But I want to uh, read this real quick and just... Uh, give us your opinion and tell me what you think. South Africa has demanded that an Australian minister retract comments accusing Pretoria of persecuting white farmers after the parliament voted to seize their land 
to address racially rooted economic woes. Now, notice that I, I read an article, and, and this article came from uh, CNN mm -hmm. website. Notice how they say... Fake news! Yeah, Fake news! Yeah, but, but, but notice how it's written. They say C's. Right. They constitutionally amended the Constitution to partake of the land. Right. So how is that seizing land? Right. So when you read stuff, you got to read how, how they're doing it. Australian Home Affairs Minister... Peter Dutton told reporters on Wednesday that he would appeal to for his country to grant visas to any white farmers displaced by South African President Cyril R R Ramaphosa, Ramaphosa. Ramaphosa's <laughs> plan to transfer land ownership from its white minority to black citizens without compensation. How could they do it? Pointing out also to dispute reports that white South African farmers face a disproportionately high murder rate which they can't seem to prove. Right. Dutton said it appeared to him that some of the white farmers were being persecuted and needed help from a civilized country like ours. Drawing outrage from South Africa, a country that shed decades of white-dominated apartheid rule in the early 90s, massacring hundreds of thousands of blacks. Civilized country. I just think it's kind of odd that y'all want to uh, bring... I'm trying to be nice, but it ain't never stopped me before, so ever. Right, right. <laughs> Y'all want to bring uncivilized white people to a civilized country. Tear it up. But you surely you're not asserting that taking something that didn't belong to you is something civilized. Sure so you, you mean to tell me you're going to take some uncivilized people who've done uncivilized things to people... And bring them to listen. I don't care where they go. Go. It, okay. Do we? Is there something we can do yes. to help? You know, like what do we? Can, want? <laughs> can, can we build your boats? Those, yeah, can I mean, we build your boats? Bye. Mm -hmm. Go. I, I don't even know why people are mad at that. Right. You, you listen. Y'all ain't never thought black people were civilized, and you never gonna think black people are civilized. Right. We don't care that you think we're civilized or not. Just go. Just go. Bye. Without compensation. Peace. Let the Australia give you some compensation since they want to get all up in it. Let them give you some compensation. Let them give you some land. Deanna, do, do you think that uh, the great President Trump should open up visas to let those white minorities come over here since they're being exploited in Africa? What is your take on that as a college student? <laughs> Knowing Trump, he probably still thinks they're black. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um... And, I mean, and, and, and wait, uh, and, and what is your opinion about the land grab over there without compensation? I mean, I, I honestly don't see the issue. Like, you don't think that these people should be compensated for land that they no. stole from you? And why? Like, I don't get that. Why do you feel like you should be compensated for something that wasn't yours? To because I've been here for two hundred years, and I bought land. I never enslaved anybody. I'm just new here. I moved here from Australia. 50 I'm years just ago, new here. You know, and I bought this I mean, land legally. That's and... great. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like at the end of the day, what's more important than your life? Like, mm. like you really about to fight over some land that is predominantly on a continent that is predominantly dark skinned. With people. people who aren't messing with you. Like, I'd be like, you know what? you right. Let me get up out of here. Just mm -hmm. give me 10 minutes to pack my clothes. <laughs> okay. Like, I, just, mm -hmm. I don't understand. Why would you want to stay? Like, I mean, that's kind of the issue I have with, like, like certain issues with black people in America, like why would you want to do or stay somewhere where you're not? Well, why would you welcome. want to shop somewhere you're not welcome? Mm -hmm. Why would you want to stay on treated? land that you're not welcome? That why would you want to stay in a country that you're not welcome? Like it doesn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this real quick, as a uh, young lady, uh, would you consider dating an uh, African or somebody from another country? I mean, yeah. Or, 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 or do you buy American? <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm not a picky person. Cool. I'd, I'd go off of vibes and personality. So, okay. so, so you you measure the man versus the uh, substance of what he's got and driving. And well, yeah, because I, I mean, I'm not a materialistic person. One, I mean, you can mm. ask anybody. I'm not like mm. a big label whore. I like mm. potentially stay away from them. Mm. I, I mean, I don't really care about stuff like that. So, I mean, after you take all that stuff away, what is there? True, true. Um, I, I, a disclaimer here: uh, Deanna is the only. Grandchild. Well, you're the oldest grandchild, right? No. She's the, the third. 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 That's right. That's right. Uh, thing like that. But you're the only pure Musai black. <laughs> <laughs> of that I don't, I don't, yeah. uh, Well, ten grandkids, and uh, then you can account the, uh, the uh, great grandbaby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But wow. yeah, the only you're the only pure Messiah that can really sit there and put on your Angela Davis thing and go, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Right on, right on. And wait, you were 26 years old? Stop running me low. You're 27? <laughs> she said go back the other way. Oh, 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 oh. 23. Yes. Okay. 23 years old and you ain't got no kids? That's, I mean, if I was 23, that is still kind of young. Well, most girls I mean, that are 23 have two children. Two I, children. I mean, I was thinking about this today. Mm. Um, despite what people say, kids are an accident. They are. They're not just like, oh, damn. No. There's a kid in my head. Like, yeah. No, they're not an accident. They are an accident. It's common accident. sense. There's a cause and effect. Like, of course. You're doing something yeah. and something's coming out of it. Like, yeah. You know that this could produce something. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, yeah. you're, yeah, you're going that. in. It's not it a gamble. Like, yeah, you I know, know that <laughs> you, I mean, I'm trying to. This is very hard for me because no, I'm, I'm a very sailor person. Yeah. Like, you know that you fucking, you know a kid's going to come out of that. Like, that's not a surprise. But not in all situations. You don't expect that's it. That's like the nine. beginning there's, there's of the time. There's a of reproduction. There's, yeah. That's like the beginning of the time. Like, yeah. we know that. It's there's common this sense. male part. If yeah. you yeah. shake it in the female right. part. That's like common sense. Yeah. So like, like my own um, situation, like I said, I, I'm a firm believer that most of us on this earth are accidents. Okay, why well, did it within the sense that you're saying, I didn't mean to have yeah. you, but I did mean to have you because, right. to her point, I could have protected yeah, myself. Yeah, I was... Yeah, I mean, we didn't say, yeah, let's have... That's like, yeah, I ran out on the middle of the street and accidentally <laughs> yeah. got hit by a car. Right. But you know what could happen if you were... Especially right. if you're running on the freeway. Absolutely. You're probably going to get but hit. like me saying, I mean, I was driving across states with a bunch of cocaine. I didn't mean to get pulled over and go to jail. You accident. knew that that's something that could happen. Like, true. come very, on. Very, very, true. Very, very, very true. Very, very true. Right, I didn't mean to there... get fat, but I just kept eating all yeah. these fries. <laughs> I didn't mean to fail this class. I just didn't do oh, no that's homework. That was an accident. Okay. <laughs> like you know you know what you're getting into. You're taking that gamble and when it doesn't go in your favor, it's right. not a mistake. You, deal you with gambled it. wrong. And you like, gotta deal with it. That's just how I feel. And like I said, you're an anomaly because most girls nowadays are uh, I have a um a cousin now, pregnant. I just found out the other day. So my uncle's got another he has four drunk daughters. Another baby's coming on. I mean, don't do nothing you ain't ready to take care of or, or deal well, with. Well, you gotta take is, into the, the consideration, too, that I'm not a very, I don't really like kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I do. Yeah, but, but yeah. Kids yeah. Aren't, likes her time. Yeah, yeah so I'm very selfish with my time right now. Kids are not in my six year plan. Okay. And I am at the point to where I've said it multiple times and people don't believe me. I'm waiting until finances and science are on my side Amen. to where I can just have twins at once and be each other's best friends and leave me alone. There you go. Like, <laughs> I heard that. Right on. Right on. Okay, uh, we're going to go into the second hour. Dee's going to take over the second hour. This is uh, two D hard way, but right now we've got three D hard way. Yes. And uh, she's going to uh, talk about the real and bring us into the this next is hour. Demetra you guys stand K, by. Right and now. I'm here with Donovan throwing rocks and hiding his hands to D. Sitting in with us is my daughter, Deanna. Uh, she's just here, just nodding her head and everything, giving some great insight on what we're doing. And so as you guys can see the topic, it's called Let's Save the Babies. Now this is in homage, I guess you can say, and um, inspired by uh, Anaya Day. If you guys don't know who she is, she was the four-year-old who was murdered by her mother and her mother's boyfriend. Uh, basically, she was uh, beat, starved, and burned, and ultimately... Um, when her mother called the 911, uh, I don't know if you heard that call. I sent it yeah, to you. Oh, my her, God. Yeah. She was lying her ass off. They didn't even tell the dispatch that the baby couldn't breathe. breathe. Wasn't breathing. And she had been on there for like two or three minutes. Yeah, she's lying, saying, oh, we went to Red Lobster last week, and she ate something, and all this other nonsense. And then the, the dispatch was like, wait a second. It, she, she's not breathing? Right. Just four years old, she had so much life left to live. But now many are wondering... Could her life have been saved? New court records obtained by News 5 raise new questions on what children and family services knew and when they knew it. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg has been pouring over those records and is live in the tech center tonight. The court records show Anaya's biological father filed for emergency custody last December. That set into motion a process that continued until the day Anaya died. All the while, Anaya's father feared that her life might be in jeopardy. It has led to an emotional arraignment in calls for accountability. 
But the story of what led up to the murder of 40-year-old Anaya Day Garrett started well before that. CPS failed me. They failed us all. In mid-December 2017, Michael Garrett, Anaya's biological father, wrote this affidavit petitioning juvenile court to get custody of Anaya. Sierra Day, Anaya's mother, had custody and a restraining order against Garrett. And in that restraining order, Day accused Garrett of domestic violence. Garrett denied those allegations, and court records show he never received notice of a hearing related to that protective order. In the affidavit, Garrett said Day had been refusing to allow him to see Anaya since September 2017, when he saw scars on the girl. The petition for emergency custody set off a three-month-long court process. The first hearing happened on February 26th of this year, where the court ordered CFS to visit Day's home and Garrett's home. The judge also appointed a guardian that would investigate possible solutions that would be in the best interest of the child and then report back to the court. Another hearing was scheduled for this past Monday, but there would be no hearing. Instead, a protest. Because Anaya was pronounced dead eight days prior. According to police reports, Anaya's daycare made at least 14 reports of apparent injuries on Anaya's body. The reports dated back to September 2015. Daycare officials say they followed proper procedure by not only documenting the injuries, but also notifying authorities. The daycare administrator tells News 5 that she notified police and child services in May 2017. And the prior administrator notified and made a report with state child welfare officials in April 2016. A spokeswoman says the County Division of Children and Family Services would not discuss an ongoing case, but that the agency had three prior investigations into allegations of abuse and neglect. And despite those three prior cases, officials say CFS did not have cause to remove Anaya from the home. The spokeswoman said the agency is conducting an internal investigation into what happened, which is standard procedure, and if wrongdoing is found, discipline will be administered. Live in the Tech Center, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5. Oh, well, no, she's not. And so anyway, so the baby. I thought it was something she ate. Yeah, from a week ago at Red Lobster. So basically the baby um, was murdered, for lack of better words, due to the behavior of her mother and the mother's uh, boyfriend. As I said, she was burned, beaten, and starved to death. And when she did make it to the hospital, the baby had a stroke from all of the trauma uh, that she endured throughout time uh, uh, through her daycare. The daycare workers uh, also made complaints to CPS. And yeah, the girls were malnourished as well. All of that, and they all have done it. The father has done it. So the neighbor above them um, who heard uh, the guy, uh, uh, Deontay, beating up yeah. her mother and yeah. she saw it as well. Let me ask you this real quick. I know that and I feel bad for the father and mm -hmm. stuff, but for a girl to be, a, a child to be mal malnourished like that, how often was he seeing his kids? I mean, I guess that's a fair question, yeah. but I mean, I don't know what the dynamic sure. between the father is, but maybe at some point in time, he wasn't seeing the child. Yeah. Now, I've heard a lot of people try to take the father to task, basically saying he wasn't any good either, but let's just say this. Ultimately, at the end of the day, the, the job of the uh, to make sure that the child was not beaten by herself and the boyfriend was the job of that mother. Mm -hmm. If you are the custodial parent, it is your job right. as a custodial. Custodial means that you are caring for. Mm -hmm. So that was your, your job. Care. Now, did the, could the father have done A, B, C, and D? Sure, he could have. But the fact that he didn't does not mean that that child should be where she is today and that's six feet deep. I feel like but people saying, like, they don't really know what malnourished looks like. Well, per the, per the paramedics, when they showed up, they said they can see her um, bones through yeah. her hands, her ribs. She was pretty much yeah. see-through. And you can Amazing. see, like, gout sometimes yeah. in the person's face when they lose excessive weight. Especially as a child. A child should have a certain weight yeah, that she, she, she that looks she healthy. Was, she was amazing. But doesn't it take, like, a week to starve to death? It depends. It depends. Yeah, I mean, depends. she just... You, you would know. Yeah. If, and it being malnourished, it take, it, it, sometimes it does take time because what is going on, if I'm... Yeah, I, your body's I, eating on itself. Yeah, it's eating on itself, and your, the, your body is depleted of the nutrients mm -hmm. and everything right. that can sustain you. And then obviously you will start looking right. malnourished where, and it's not even worse. It's like a person like me, I'm, I'm, I've always been very lean. But you don't look malnourished. Right. That's exactly. when you have the yeah, circle around your eye. Yeah, I've never seen someone look malnourished. So Rib I don't think cage. I would honestly be able to be like, you're malnourished. Like, yeah, yeah. You, you would know if you you've know. seen it. Yeah, you would if, know. You, if you saw it rather. So anyway, so that's what happened with Anaya Day. And so there's been so many conversations about, as you said, the mother, the father, 
and things like this. And I just want to say this because not only just with Anaya, I've had, it seems like in the last couple of days, conversations with people about, and I'm just going to say this, I don't care if you guys get mad. Like I said, I will ride for black women, but I'm not going to lie for black women. And mm -hmm. what happens is when we try to candy coat what's going on, we end up with dead babies. We end up with babies who are harmed because we're too busy trying to, well, you know, we shouldn't be saying this and we shouldn't know it needs to be said. And the things that I'm going to say, I'm not saying it to throw rocks or to be mean. I'm saying it because I want to spur a learning conversation. Sure. We all know somebody or have come into contact with some of these things I'm about to say. And so I'm hoping that at least one person who may be doing any one of these 12 things that I wrote down will maybe say, you know what, that's me. Let me write the ship. Let me try to do things differently so that I can raise a well-balanced person in society that will never, ever have to go through what that child has mm -hmm. gone through. You sent me an article yesterday on Facebook around, uh, about another woman and happened to be a black woman who killed her child because she was tired of potty training it. Single so, parenting. She wrote a letter that said single parenting. is. She had no idea single parenting was right. so, so damn hard. Right, and so she killed the child. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I took a lot of notes. I didn't take any formal notes, but I took notes just through the conversations that I've had with different people. Mm -hmm. The first one, and there's no specific order, is, and I don't know if you guys have seen the um, stand-up that uh, Chris Rock did where he says, nowadays, the children are calling a mama Pam by her name, and they're calling the grandmama mama mm -hmm. because the kids are not mm -hmm. being raised by, by the, the mama. Mm -hmm. And so I would just say this. If you had that child, raise that child. And to my other point, that's a little bit down the list, let your kids raise their children. That's now, right. obviously, if you see your child is doing some things to, that they shouldn't be doing to the kids, then you need to step in. Mm -hmm. But we enable our children when we allow them to have kids, and then we say, well, that's my baby. I'm taking care of this baby. Mm -hmm. And then they come back with more kids, and you're like, wow, you're going to stop having them? <laughs> You know you're not a rabbit, right? You know, stop having all these kids. So let your children raise their children. My second point, and you guys interject whenever you feel like it. Um, my second point is, how in the hell are you a stay-at-home mama and your kids are malnourished? You, your kids aren't clean. You, you know, you're not doing the things, you're not doing right by this child. Every meal they eat comes from McDonald's or through a drive through How you a stay-at-home mom? Hell, if you're a stay-at-home mom, whether your husband is working, whether you're getting governmental assistance, it means you're staying at home and you're supposed to make sure the child is, that they, they're they benefiting from all that they're supposed to benefit from you being their mother. Another thing, how are you a stay-at-home mama and your child can't speak? I get tired of seeing little kids running around, they four, five, and six, three. Oh, he hurt me. Oh, she did. Like, what are you doing? Right. You're stay-at-home mama. Your child should be the smartest thing on two feet. Your child should be the cleanest thing on two feet. Your child should have a well-balanced meal all day long. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm in agreement. So, y'all, like I said, chime in whenever you want. The third point that I have is stop putting these men before your children. Listen, I was a single mom once. I understand sometimes you get lonely, but it comes to a point where you have to say, listen, I'm going to have to endure this loneliness until the right man for me and my child, not just for me, because it ain't hard to get some, you know, dingling and, you know, get the, and get done real good to mm -hmm. you. But mm -hmm. at the same time, it's like this, this man has to be good for me and my child. I'm not just going to just bring any old dude into my house and then he mistreats my child. Hell, he mistreats me. And I, what am I getting from it? You know, so. Heartache. Right. And, and heartache and heart something else. But that's mm. about it. Stop putting these men for before your children. Amen. They didn't ask to be here. Right. You know, and then like in the Anaya Day situation, obviously the mama was putting the child before. I yeah, mean, like the, man the man before a child. child. And did, did you see the video when she walked into the court and she just had no... She was a cold piece. Yeah. You know, that girl's only 23 years I know. old. I know. She's I mean, 23 years old and she looked I'm, like, and? Yeah, she had like, like she didn't lose anything. I Yeah, I did it, and so what? And then her dude, you know, looked at the baby daddy like... Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I'm, I'm going to speak for, uh, for the men. Mm -hmm. And uh, remember, we always talk about like, for some reason, people 
think that because you're a human being, you, you're not an uh, animal. We are animals. We're just on the higher chain. Right, you ain't supposed to behave like no animal. No, well, no, exactly. All of us have things imprinted in us. Right. Like other animals. Like I said, as a man, I want to mate with as many women as I want. That's okay. in all the animal kingdoms. Right. But also in the animal kingdom, what male uh, men do, is like in the cat kingdom and stuff like that, when you have children in the, in the cat kingdom and any kingdom like that, the, the new male comes in there and kills the cubs. Right, okay, well... I don't, I, that's the whole horse of a different color. Yeah. Maybe we can get into that but, another you know, time. But, 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 that, but that's another reason why they don't have that empathy for that other Also, child. though, mm -hmm. since you want to bring wild animal kingdom into this, okay. the animals, the, the mother animals protect their children they're to, supposed to the death. Right, they're supposed to. And that's what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. If something is coming to harm your child, whether it's your mate, somebody else's mm -hmm. mate, or something else, those uh, mothers in the wild animal kingdom will fight yes. to the death. Have you ever seen those videos where a baby elephant or something falls mm -hmm. into the water yeah. and a mom is just like, Distraught. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do whatever I got to do to get my baby mm -hmm. out of there. That's the way it's supposed to be. So that's actually a good point. And I'd also like to say this. Okay. My fourth point is, I'm not, it is what it is. A lot of women in my generation ain't shit. And I hate to be so blunt. But that's where... <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yes. That's yes. where a lot of these younger women are learning this nonsense from. They watching women in my generation. Hell, women in my generation still turning up at the club. Yes. You know, Very we still good. doing the nonsense. We still got a man Competing whooping eyes. Right. Mm -hmm. We ain't taught our girls nothing. So they're learning or they're not learning how to be proper mothers and how to be proper women from the women who are supposed to be teaching that. And I'm going to get into that in another point. But real quick, though, mm -hmm. how can I teach my child, and I'm not a woman, but how can I teach my child when, when a big mama is raising my child? Right. Well, that's a whole, that I'm going to get into okay. that. All right. Now, the other point that I have is there's too much uh, me time. How in the, I get it. I understand. Sometimes you need a break from the kids. But I going to the club it. and getting another baby. Every week. Yeah, it's okay? not. The right way to do it. When you laid down and had that child, okay, the meantime was over. Right. You might be able to go to the mall, mm -hmm. get your feet done, but bring your ass back home. Right. There ain't no such thing as no me time. I'm going to drop my child off to you for 8, 10 hours, and then I got to call you and wrestle your ass eight, back and come get three, your four feet. four days. All of that other stuff. Mm -hmm. Listen, ain't no me time like that. I Listen, I'll be generous and let you and watch your child for an hour or two. You go outside and take a breather. But as far as, well, I just need to get away. No, you get away when these kids are 18. Okay, or pause. Or you have the proper means to have somebody do all that. Okay, pause up. Dan, are you listening to this? She ain't talking to me. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> right. Listen. That's your mom, so. When they say, oh, what's understood don't need to be said. That's true. I, you know, true. I, 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 not to toot my horn, but I was I, I was the example for her. She throwing That's rocks right. in the crowd and they ain't hitting me. Right. <laughs> you see, she ain't said nothing. Right. You know, but we don't have that issue here. Okay. You know, because mm -hmm. I didn't come from a type of mama that was like, shit, that's my baby. Here mm -hmm. I go and I didn't leave my baby here. My mm -hmm. mom was like, listen, you going to the store? What time you coming yes, back? exactly. She made me, rate. not that I was trying to shirk my responsibilities as a mother, but she made me raise my child mm -hmm. in the story. True, true. So... There is no me time. Bring your ass back home. Go outside, take a woosah break, and then come back in and deal mm -hmm. with raising your children. And mm -hmm. I'm speaking to the, the mamas. I'm not absolving the men of their responsibilities, but I'll I'm speaking specifically mm -hmm. to the women. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. And so the other part is um, the, a lot of these women nowadays, these women slash mothers, I guess you can say, they don't have any coping skills. Mm. How many times have we been anywhere or been around people and they you seen them cussing the kids out? Right? All of that. Shut the F up. I'm going to beat your this, that. And how many times have we seen that? There's no coping skills. Women, we have to learn how to deal with the children. Nobody said, I tell this, I said this to somebody last night. If you match up being a parent next to being a rocket science scientist, being a parent will always be the harder job. Because you're responsible for shaping that other person into being somebody, whoever that somebody is going to be. But if you're raising children, you need to have some coping skills. This little kid is getting on my damn nerves. But let me figure out how to deal with that. Let me figure out what I need to do in order yeah. to make it work for the both of us. Okay, I don't need to be cussing the kid out, talking to a crazy, beating it. And all that. that's what happens when you don't have coping skills. You, you end mm -hmm. up abusing the children. Okay. You know, shut up, get out of here, pal. Mm -hmm. You know, 
So get some coping skills. Learn, take a parenting class. Go to Big Mama or somebody who did it right. Listen, Big Mama, Mama, this child is driving me crazy. I don't know what to do. Sometimes I feel like I want to beat it. Can you give me some something? Something. But that should never be the, the end game. I'm going to just beat it instead of coping with the child. Yeah, I, I notice a lot of uh, people, especially from the inner city, they go to advice from people that shouldn't go to advice to. Right. Well, I mean, it, and that's, a, that's another situation, you know, yeah. but I, I don't know. I just, we, we need to get to the point to where we just have some patience. And if you don't, if your child is misbehaving to the point to where you feel like you got to beat them and curse them out, it's not their fault, it's yours. Because yes. you're not spending the time necessary with those children. Get off your phone. Turn the television off. Sit down and have a conversation with your child. Don't just be at the child, be with the child. It's a parenting for a reason. You're supposed to be shaping and molding that individual. Not, well, go on and get on the, uh, the iPad. Go on and watch a movie. You're getting mm-hmm. on my nerve. That's not parenting. That's you having some old me time and not dealing with the situation you created. Okay. So, and I hope I'm being helpful. Like, again, I'm not trying to, you know, uh, come down on, and it's, I'm speaking to black women because that's what this show is about, is helping each other. Mm-hmm. Because, like I said, if it saves one mm-hmm. child, then, that, then that's it. My, my job is done here. The other point is we have this thing called monkey see, monkey do, Right? And uh, we've all heard it. Don't do what I don't do what I do. Do it. Do as I say. Mm-hmm. We know that never works. People and children are going to mimic what they see. Mm-hmm. As my dad said, your children are drinking of you. They are watching your every move, and so they eventually do. For the most part, they do what they see you do. You can't say, well, listen, I'm drinking and smoking all day long. Don't do what I'm doing. You better do what I say. I say, mm-hmm. don't be drinking. It's not good for you. Well, it looks like it's good for you because, you know, you, you, it looks fun. So they do it. So you they, stop. Be the example for your children. Set the example you want your children to ultimately model after. There is no more of that do as I say. It never works, okay? The other thing that I have to say here is um, the older women are supposed to set the example. The older women, and, are, and not even just your mama, But the older women everywhere are supposed to teach the young women. And for those of you guys who follow the Bible, see, I don't go to church and I'm not religious, but I do know what the Bible says because when I was going, I actually paid attention, right? The Bible does say the older women are supposed to instruct the younger women. I'm supposed to, as an older woman, if I'm around some younger girls, I am supposed to impart wisdom upon them and say, you know what? I see maybe you're having a struggle, but this is what I understand to be the best way to do it. Or have you tried to put some salt in your you know, mm-hmm. dish to make it, t- whatever the case may be. Sure. I, as an older woman, I'm not an old woman. I'm an older woman. <laughs> I'm supposed to teach the younger women what I know. Right. I cannot call myself a woman and not impart wisdom upon. That's like me mm-hmm. saying, you know, my daughter's 18. She is she grown now. I don't need to show her nothing else. But she's 20-something. She won't mm-hmm. let me tell you how old she is exactly, <laughs> even though I say when she ain't here. Um, I, it's always going to be my job as her mother and an older woman to teach her better. I've mm-hmm. always said my goal was for her to go farther and do better than I did. Sure, I had her when I forward. was 21. She's older than that now. I won't say how old. But I, I didn't want her to do what I did because it wasn't easy being a 21-year-old mother. Hell, I was a child. Mm-hmm. But, again, I... I didn't do the things that I'm talking about. I was her mother at the end of the day. So mm-hmm. I won't belabor that point. Moving on to my other point. Um, and I, listen, I'm going to try to clean this up the best way I can. I, my notes are very vulgar. I will just say this. Hey, Belle. I would just say this. Women, stop chasing. Uh, how about this? The penis. Stop doing that. Again, for those of you guys who go to church, you know that it says when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. It's out of order. And a lot of people will argue with me, say it's the new millennium, a man, there's nothing wrong with a woman chasing a man. I'm telling you, stop doing that, especially if you have children. Stop focusing all your attention on going to chase a man. A man knows what he wants. If he wants you and he's, you know, worth his weight, he's going to come pursue you. You don't have to pursue him because when you do that as a woman, you are neglecting your children when you're constantly on the hunt for a man and specifically for sexual reasons. Stop, then listen. 
all this out here. Ha have some class, right. okay? Right. Stop chasing a man. And a man, like I said, worth his weight. Probably not really attractive a uh, woman. Is, uh, and you're a man. Would you want a woman glomming after you, or do you like the chase? Well, I have to say, in my, in my defense, I've never had to pursue a woman, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's messing around. But, uh, no, no, you're absolutely right. You don't want a woman that, that seems desperate. You want a woman that's sure of herself and knows that she's worth a certain... She holds herself in a certain right. aspect. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I love You know I love the ratchets. I love the ratchets, <laughs> but I, I, that, that isn't wifey material. Well, you know, I'm not a man, mm -hmm. but to me, I would think it would be a turnoff. Yeah, totally. To right. have a woman, you know, she just, looks desperate. Yeah, just, just desperate. Like, raise your children. Mm -hmm. let, let a man come to you. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong, sure. but I doubt it. Um, and speak up. Each one, teach one. And that goes back to my other point about the older women teaching the younger women. Speak up. You know, I know it's very, I didn't have my microphone on all this time, time yeah. to speak up. Um, <laughs> but I know a lot of times it's intimidating to maybe say something to somebody you don't know. You know, I always tell this story. When I was younger, I was on the bus. Well, I was an adult, but, you know, a little bit younger. I was on a bus, and I saw this woman, who was a lot younger than me, yelling and cursing at her child. And on the bus in front of everybody, I mean, the most vulgar things you can think mm -hmm. of. He wanted some of her sodas, what it was. He said, Mommy, can I have a drink? And she's mad. She says, here. And she elbows him, like, really hard. You're right. just getting on my bob on her, and I just... It took me a long time to get over the fact that I didn't have what it took to say, say anything something. to her. Part of it was because I was intimidated, like, damn, she might be mocked. She's a big girl. Mm -hmm. She might mock me up and down on this bus if I say something right. to her. But when I got off the bus Word and rehashed <laughs> Right. But when I rehashed the incident in my mind, I, I, I was mad that I didn't potentially take that ass whooping. Because at least she would have known that... There's other people, and I wasn't the only one There's on the bus, right. right, but maybe I would have left something on her mind that, mm -hmm. wow, this is not acceptable to no one else that I'm doing this to my child, but we need to speak up when we see that. You know, a young lady, you know, I know maybe, you know, he's probably a handful, but you know, if I would you maybe sure. do A, B, C, and D, or if there's anything else, I, anything I can do to help, you know, mm -hmm. but just don't let it ride because eventually, or potentially, mm -hmm. It could be, you know, the case of, I mean, like, how many times uh, people saw Anaya, the little baby who was murdered by her, her father, or her mother, and uh, the mother's boyfriend? How many times did people see something and didn't, and say, didn't say anything? Right. Or, well, or that's or, just how they get down. Or, or, you know, or, or even inquire, like, hey, wow, this girl right, looks pretty. Right, right. And, 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 and in all fairness, yeah, a lot my of business. People, right, but in all fairness, there was a lot of people who did try to intervene, yeah. but, I mean, how many other people saw whether it was the girl's family or somebody is like, oh, child, that's just how she deal with her. You know, that's just how they get down. You know, just dismiss the whole thing. Yeah, you know, I, I was looking at the mother when she was coming into court. She seems pretty thick. Yeah. It seems like she was eating. They didn't miss no meal. Well, you know, the, obviously there was something going on there to where, I, I, like, I think how cruel do you have to be to, pretend, to, to starve your child to death? Yeah. Like, what are you thinking? Are you eating? Sure. Like you um, said, you eating. You why? Why did yeah. you think a child want to eat? No, I, I know you might finish it, but I want to mm, no, go ahead. It, 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 real, real quick. Uh huh. Notice that. Remember a couple of weeks ago, I told you about this show uh, for my man yes. and things like this. And this is this is what's really right. happening. And um, I know you've been watching a few episodes. I watched like a few that. episodes. Uh -huh. And uh, it's just mind boggling how uh, some of these women, especially in our community, will give it all up. For a no good dude that's going to take them down a path that's something that they would not normally do. It's it's really about teaching your children and your daughters. Since we're speaking about women, mm -hmm. it's really about teaching your children to have self esteem and to know what self esteem is. Right. Again, I can't expect for my child to have self esteem. If she's watching me her whole life have low self esteem, mm -hmm. doing those type of things, it is our job to teach the young women what's proper and what's not. Just like it's your job as a man to teach the young men what's proper and what's That's not. Right. It's, it's right. our job. I don't care what anybody says. That old, that old saying, it, it takes a village, it really does. Mm -hmm. I know, I remember, you know, God rest my mama and my grandmama, so I learned a lot from them, mm -hmm. even really just by watching them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's really about being the example. Teach your children what it means to have low, I mean, high self-esteem. 
You know, my daughter knows that some dude comes running up to her with his pants sagging and he, you know, reeking of marijuana and all that other stuff. She know already what, well, listen, I'm not going to be rude to you, but there ain't no way in hell you spending no time with me. Because really? that means I got to lower my, my standards really? to be with you. Really? Is, is that true? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't mess with you. Wait, wait, but I got a, I, look, I got a, a rap contract that's going to come down any, <laughs> any week. No. No? Wow. I mean, not well, unless you logic. Not yeah. unless you logic. Well, right. I mean, that, so that means she already knows that I'm going to have to lower my, my, right. my standards and my self-esteem to hang out with you. Mm -hmm. But I haven't been taught that. You know, she hasn't watched her daddy do that. She hasn't watched any of the men, well, maybe one of them, that I used to <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe one of them. hang out with do that. I don't know I'm being funny, but mm. she hasn't watched her uncles do any of that but, stuff. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you're here, why would you expect her to be the guy that's, he living in an apartment with uh, uh, Uncle Rufus and Cousin uh, Say Say or whatever. And, <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're over there chilling. That's his whole idea to chill. Well, I wouldn't even expect yeah, that. Yeah, but again, I mean, and, and to the women who may be watching this, if a young man comes up to you like that, stop entertaining him. Mm -hmm. Like my dad say, hell, you ain't even got the sense to pull your pants up off your ass. You don't have even have that much sense. Why would I listen? You're not going to treat me right. Last thing I want to do is walk around with a man who's got his drawers showing. You know, uh, it's funny that, like I said, we, 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 me and me talk about this stuff all the time. We talked about it today. Here I am, L7, Mr. L7, but I'm the first person people want to, uh, you know, oh, let me ask Donovan for money, but you won't ask. Uh, Mr. The man you sleeping yeah, with. Yeah, the man you sleeping with or, or, or Mr. Gangster in the street for the money that you might need. Right. It, it, you know, it's just crazy. Right. It's, it's a crazy and, situation. And, and, and we're going to get to that too. Um, my other point is for you women who do have children and maybe you're a single mom mm -hmm. or whatever the case is, stop trying to manipulate other people by using your kids. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, for a good example. <laughs> If you don't give me what I want, then you can't see your child. Oh, my oh, gosh, Oh, if you yes. love your grandkids, you would let me just run mm -hmm. amok. Mm -hmm. You would let me just be gone all mm -hmm. weekend. And, you know, so I can go get me some me time. Mm -hmm. If you love your grandkids, see, they better be happy I ain't your grandmama. <laughs> right, right. I would, like, take you and your raggedy self on right. out of my face. I'm not, listen, you know what you're not going to do is strong arm me into watching the kids. You had these children. You're going to take care sure. of these children just like I took care of you. Mm -hmm. You know, for, for those that that can't see right now, Thailand is under the table and going on D speed. <laughs> so I am waiting for you to jump off of this table yeah, and just go. But I, she's, I, she's holding not, strong. I, I usually wear my clothes, yeah. clothes, shoes around Thailand okay. because he got me once with that. Okay. Good. Um, and so <laughs> the the other point that I have is doing something strange for the change. Sure. Listen, I don't know if it's a phenomenon or whatever. I do know that back in the day, even in my generation, in my mother's generation, in my grandmama's generation, women did some things for money to pay the bills and all that other you stuff. You got to pay the play. I don't know if you got to pay the play, but I mean, you like you're taking the path of least resistance. I'm exactly. not saying, listen, the easiest. make your money how you make your money. Sure. But when it affects your children, that's a different story. Absolutely. Like you hanging out with all these dudes. You got one dude paying the light bill, mm -hmm. but you doing you bring him all up in and out of the house around the kids. You got one dude paying your phone bill. You got one dude buying you groceries. You're doing all sure. this maneuvering for some money instead of getting yourself together or maybe settling down and getting with a man who's going to do all of that. All kind of, of that. Stuff. Bring home the whole. But, right. Load. But why are you out there doing something strange for the change? A good man worth his weight going to be like, look, baby, you done been ran through like an Amtrak station. The last thing I want to do is make you my woman. I mean, that kind of stuff catches up to you after a while. I, I, no, but I, it's true. It's the truth. It's true. I, you I want guess, a woman who said, Who? No, remember I told you. I love ratchet. Right. No, I, lo I love the ratchet chicks, the girls I party, but I'm not wiping those chicks. Exactly. I'm not so them. I think women need to, but that's the, see, those are the conversations that I've had with my, listen, I ain't had that conversation mm -hmm. with my child. When, and I call her my child, but she's an adult. Yeah, she's yeah. But this, these are the conversations I've had with her from this high. Right. Because people say, well, when is a good time to have those conversations with your so daughter? It's possible. When they can walk right. and when they can talk because it's and too they can late. Comprehend. Right. right. It's too late when they get to high and shoot, not even uh, elementary school and junior high when all these other little kids have taught them the wrong way. I know I want her to be able to say, you know what, that's some bullshit. Yeah. Because when I was three, my mama told me that's that that's wrong. You should right. do it. I, I don't want her to be green on the scene. I want her mm -hmm. to know. And so, I mean, the, if you're out there doing some things to pay the bills you ain't supposed to be doing, 
Eventually, that's going to catch up Karma to you. is a mother. Just, when you're courting, true. a man work his way, he's going to court you. Mm -hmm. And he's going to want to know about you. He's going to want to know where have you been, mm -hmm. what you've been doing. And the last thing he wants you to do is break out this long-ass resume. All right, back in 2013, yeah. I slept with 20 dudes because, you know, I had to pay yeah. for rent, the more, all well, this other stuff. And well, then here I am with you. Yeah, well, you know, here we are in our, in, 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 in our generation where the videotape was out and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> the VHS. Yeah, the VHS and the betas and stuff like that. Thank God for the VHS. Uh, yeah. um, you know, it's really sad because that goes back to what you're saying. Right. How, you know, you date this girl, you think she's a wonderful person. And then the, then the videotape comes out. Right. And it's her and the homies, you know, when she was 19. Right. And listen, I'm not saying that a woman or a man should be held to yeah, their past. Yeah, when you're younger, right. Because things happen. Listen, we were all uh, yeah. young once. Having fun. We've all hung from a chandelier. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so I'm not, listen, I'm not saying that should be held against you, but however. It comes back to stinging. You should think about those things. Mm -hmm. What kind of story are you going to want to tell your future husband? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I was everybody's girl. Yeah, you know, you're, you're standing in line in Winco, and they go, hey, Gloria. Right. Hey, <laughs> hey dog, you got a good woman, let me tell you. Can you still do them Chinese yeah. splits? <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. you know. Got that magical tongue. Right, you know, that, there's, those are just things to think about, you know. just Absolutely. So, I mean, that's really all I have. I, don't, I, I hope I've been informational. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to, uh, I, I, I'm not trying to offend anybody, mm -hmm. but I do know, we all know, people that way Absolutely. we know somebody and you just look like i had this conversation with somebody earlier you know they were telling me they they actually saw an, um a, a young man who was sagging his pants he mm -hmm. couldn't even walk he's holding up the pants with one yeah every it, three but steps. the booty is still showing mm -hmm. i said well we're all guilty of this instead of talking about him walk up to him and say hey brother mm -hmm. You know, this and, and A, B, C, and D. Try and, and if he wants to fight, you fight him. Right. And, and I know you're good at doing mm -hmm. that. You're good at saying, you know what? Hey, man, maybe you should pull your pants up if you yeah. want people to take you seriously. Now, I know on the other side of that, they're probably not going to listen. But I guarantee you, because this person said, I ain't the first one this to person tell him said that. I took your advice. And he told me, man, I ain't worried about these people. Mm -hmm. I said, all right, he didn't take your advice. Great. I said, but I guarantee you left something on his mind. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you he left him something to think about. Sure. And maybe he's going to say, well, damn. Mm -hmm. As he's starting to get older, like, wow, I can't get these jobs. I wonder why. My ass is out here showing. Mm -hmm. You know, that to me, that's a whole other issue. As a man, <laughs> why would you want your ass showing to error? That's, mm. you know, which, which brings up a comment. Uh, Deanna, I know you got girlfriends and stuff like that. I know you got girlfriends that date these type of dudes. What do you tell them in regards to their choices of men? Or boys, I'm sorry, because that ain't a man. Most of my friends date you girls. Can't hear you, child. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or maybe y'all didn't want to hear that. Yeah. What did you say? <laughs> um, I mean, I'm trying to think. What do I tell him? I mean, what would you tell him? Like, he goes, oh, look, I'm dating such and such. And, and he, she brings him over to And you. his pants are sagging, and he's got the skinny jeans on. He looking like, like a weed. weed and, oh, and, and his so. hair is unkept. Uh, well, I mean, I'm... Uh, Yes, Bill. Yes, yes, yes. We better tell you the answer. <laughs> um, most of the times, not even being funny, my friends don't bring these type of guys to me because okay. they know how I am and that I am judgmental AF. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I'm quick to judge them and their taste and their man. So yeah, I don't. I, I'm usually the one that's last to meet these these, guys. these clowns. But 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 I'm very sure these girlfriend like. Why yeah. Are you with him? What, what? Yeah. All the time. And what do they say? Girl, mind your business. <laughs> no, they're like, well, he's not like that. And it's like, sure, he's not. Sure, how, Jan. How is he not like that if he's dressing the part? Obviously, he's auditioning for the part. I mean, I, I give my opinion and my non-endorsement, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, it's there I, I'm only out for me. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I know I don't want your nigga, so mm -hmm. that don't matter so. to me. If you want to be with him and he's a clown, you a clown too. And y'all can join the circus. Right. Now, 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 <laughs> how many of these girlfriends that you've worn them and stuff, and, you know, I'm sure you, I'm not, I don't know if you have friends that have babies or whatever. She and, does. And, and, and they're like, damn, I should have listened. And now their life has been impacted. And, you know, you know what I mean? All the time. And, but it's usually like with people like that, too, it's never their fault. It's always that person. It's that, the guy. And then he's yeah. nowhere to be found. Yeah. Or if you don't want to help him, it's your fault. Yeah. Like, you won't help me, you know, go be me and go, go get some me time. Right. So I'm mad at you right. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. Like I said, I could date, man. 
I just sometimes, I wish people would come to me with the nonsense so I could just slice, slice them and it dice up. them. Slice them I would be cool about it, but y'all know me. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. don't come to me with this nonsense. Like, if I, I'm going to try to help Aries. you. Aries. Happy they, to cut someone at the My daughter Aries. says that I don't have compassion. I do have compassion. Well, yeah, I don't have compassion. I have I, empathy. I, I don't have compassion for the, the nonsense. Yeah. I just don't have it because right. I'm not going to come to you with that stuff. Sure. Like, when I was a young mother, I never... Yeah, I I give a hundred thousand dollars to this person right now. Anybody could come and say, well, you know, Demetra, you know, she yeah, she was always clubbing. She always mm -hmm. passed her responsibility to me. Ain't nobody ever gonna tell you. And I was like I said, I had my daughter when I was mm -hmm. twenty one, but nobody ever did my job. Well, I'm, even I'm, sometimes when I had two and three jobs, mm -hmm. when I got off. I brought my ass home. Right. I never said, well, listen, child, let me go give me some me time. Mm -hmm. Let me go on to the club. Yeah, I'm going to stop by. No, go to El Torito I worked three jobs out of a necessity. And when I was able to get one, I never sacrificed the livelihood of my child to go make no money, to go chase behind no man. None of that stuff. Well, I, I can say when she did have her child, Demetra was not jumping any fences. <laughs> I didn't see her anywhere. It's like she went complete ghost recon. Hey, I, I was about the business of raising my right. child. It wasn't always easy. Right. So I, I can right. attest to that. I, what? I, I, I can attest I know, to I'm that. I'm not saying you was a bad child. I'm saying in far as far as being a single mom. Yeah. Now, and I, I don't even want to say I was a single mom. To the point to where her father wasn't around. Yeah, he's he was around. Mm -hmm. He got on my damn nerves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he was around, but we weren't married. So in right. essence, I was a single mother. But, you know, it wasn't always easy. And, and disclaimer, it isn't the fact that uh, he didn't ask you to get married, did he? Yeah, he yeah, did. he did. He so, did. So, you know, and we got to say that because, you know, uh, no, and a lot of women, you know, and they're single, you know, they're single moms, whatever. Right. Um, is it that stigma of it? No, it, it, you know, maybe he wasn't ready to be married or he was immature at the but time. But I was also whatever. wise enough to know that, you know. It's not going to work. It's not going to yeah. work. And I'm not going to be with somebody. And this is, a, I, I, sure. I, I like to debunk that myth too. Yeah. I need to stay with you uh, because of the kids. Yeah, you know, no, I, sometimes no. I might need to leave you because of the kids. Right. Because it's not good for the mm -hmm. child to see all this turmoil mm -hmm. and angst. and uh, It's not good. So I'm going to leave you. Mm -hmm. Because of the kids and because of me and because of you too. Right, right. So we can all get some peace. Right. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's just, you know, I, I think, especially if you laid down and had that child, you need to reevaluate your situation and mm -hmm. say, okay, like I'm probably not going to the club every weekend no more. I can't be having a bunch of dudes in and out of my life because now it's in and out of my child's life. Mm -hmm. I am going to have to go bust a, a legitimate hustle. I'm going to have to get my ass off the pole and stop, mm -hmm. you know, tricking all these dudes for money. I'm a, If I got to go work at McDonald's or Walmart while I'm going to school, then that's a reputable job. I'm going to do that. You might have to, you know, take, put yourself, I always say that. When you're a child, you you're going to be familiar with the back burner a lot. Right. It's just the way it is. Because mm -hmm. that child didn't ask to be there. Sure, sure. But no, we need to get past the point to where we are reading about these children losing their lives yeah. due to, because at the end of the day, I don't care who that woman was with, who Anaya's mama was uh, with, mm -hmm. who her boyfriend was, it, it was, was her, her responsibility her to protect and provide mm -hmm. for her child. Even from the child's father. That, that, you know, regardless, yeah. of, regardless of who it is, it's your, your job. They, there's mm -hmm. a saying that the old people say in the black community. Mama's baby, daddy's baby. Maybe. That's always going to be your child at the end of right, the day. Right. And to your, further, your earlier point about the wild animal kingdom, even in the wild animal kingdom, we see the mama bears, alligators, tigers, rats, cats, mm -hmm. whatever. They'll fight tooth and nail over their child. Sure. And we need to do the same thing. Right. And in the animal kingdom, the father does his business, and then he disappears. Oh, rolling stone <laughs> same, ass. Same, same thing. Right. In the human <laughs> you know, and, and that's why I tell people, <laughs> we are animals just on a higher plane. We're, right. we're no different. Right. Some of the very instinct, instinctual things that are encrypted in these animals right. is encrypted in us as well. So I'm going to get you pregnant, and I want to run and go do something else. You know? But, you know, and Deanna made this point early on the other sh uh, part of the show. You know what it takes to, to, to get a child. Mm -hmm. Anybody with, and yeah. I sucked at biology. I passed yeah. biology by I'm the good. skin of my, listen, I don't know how I passed, but mm -hmm. I do know that, as I said in the last one, as she said, you have a female part. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Nowadays it is a female part. Yeah. But if you have a female part and a male part, and you get them together... The zygote cooks the egg and blah, 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 blah. You're more than likely going to have a baby. Yes, this more, is more a strong problem. Because that's yeah. what it was for in the first place is procreation. And we made it freaky. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm well, just saying. Well, well, we made it casual. We made it freaky. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> you know, it, it's just it's just one of those things. But uh, be, uh, be, be, before we close out, uh, uh-huh. Diana is a uh, you, uh, San Francisco State. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's yes. San Francisco State University, and if you guys know anything about geography and stuff, living in San Francisco, you thought Southern California was expensive. Northern California in the San Francisco Bay Area is highly expensive. Now, we were talking about Jazzy Row the other day. Yeah. Are you having any Jazzy Row situations in your dorm? <laughs> like that? And if you do, I hope you're whooping some ass. Uh, not to her degree. Okay. I mean, my roommate's a freaking klepto, but... Mm-hmm. Is this a black girl, white mm-hmm. girl, Asian girl? No, she's black. Okay. For those of you guys who don't know, Jazzy Rose, the college student that um, had the, uh, she was a uh, doormate with a, uh, another college student, a roomie, and a roomie was doing some pretty gross things to her yeah. personal products and her food. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, Jazzy Rose uh, forgave. When I spoke to her, spoke first, to her yeah. she said that she didn't forgive her. That her words. It. She said she did make the statement about her having a second chance, but that's not what she meant. Yeah. I honestly think. That she didn't. She shouldn't have gone. I, I, I think I don't think she anticipated the backlash that she was gonna get right. for saying I give her a second chance. Mm-hmm. She's young, so I yeah. think we need to give her that. So she's young. She didn't really think that mm-hmm. people were gonna be calling her. And I didn't call her any name, no, but no. you know any of that um, kind of stuff. She didn't but, anticipate. But that. here's my thing, and, and did you see the video I put up? We were talking about Jazzy Rose on the other show. Uh huh. She showed up to court with green hair. Okay, again. Young lady, I'm going to give her the benefit Okay, but well listen, mm-hmm. again. Okay? I don't know why I keep this. This is not beer, you guys. Yeah. This is some, uh, a soda. This is healthy soda. Yeah. Um, soda. But I mean, she's doing what? What is she, 19? She's doing yeah. 19 year old Yeah, I know. I okay, give her that. I mean, that's the that. time to do it. Right. That's then. Yeah. No, I, I give her the benefit. She ain't in a career field. Right, work, right. No, I, I'm giving her the benefit of that, but what I'm saying is when she had the green hair, it didn't look okay, professional how she had it set. This but she's a victim. She doesn't need to be professional. Okay, I. I'm on both sides of the fence with that, if I can be that, okay? I'm Because I agree with Deanna's point. She's a child, yeah, essentially. No, mm-hmm. That's what they do. Mm-hmm. However, I ain't seen, I'm not saying her mom or her daddy's not involved. I haven't heard or seen mm-hmm. them in the picture. But I know if that was my baby, yeah. and she pulled out a green wig to put on the court, yeah. I'm going to say, baby, yeah. don't yeah. you think we should probably little, be a little bit more presentable so that they could they Take, could take us seriously. Right. You can wear the green wig when yeah, you leave outside the court. Or if you're gonna wear the green wig, I, set it. I'm the, listen. Professional. As as my child's mama, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna ad, not, advise you, against wearing a the green, green wig. wig the court. Right. I want them to because what happened to you was a serious thing, and the right. last thing I want them to do is think you the court jester right. instead of the court victim. I'm and, just keeping it real. And, and and that's what I was saying. That and also because it was a high profile case, you're yeah. a college student. People, you want to put your best foot forward. Well, yeah, you want to put your best foot forward because think about it, your concert's a high, high profile case. How do you know there's not employers looking at you saying, you know what, that girl persevered and she did all these things? Uh, I don't know, Jazzy. Sorry. I, I'm just going to be yeah. willing to bet that maybe her uh, her mother and her father figure maybe aren't that strong in her life. Yeah, no. I, I mean, know. I'm all for expressing yourself. Right. But what I'm saying is, this is the kind of stuff that puts us in a situation to where we can't um, progress and it. it, it, it it perpetuates the myth of us being clowns. That's what I'm saying. It's just, well, it wasn't yeah. a good look. It wasn't I, a good I mean, look. I agree. And like I said, I mean, I, when I was young, I did different color hairstyles and stuff too, but yeah, I wouldn't but, have, I wouldn't, I, this is just me personally, mm-hmm. Jazzy, you do what you want to right. do. I wouldn't have showed up to court with in a green, green hair. Yeah. I mean, that's just I, me. I, I, I just would you have showed up to court in a green wig? So, I mean, yeah. I just, I mean, there's a time and a place for all that stuff. And I just figured, absolutely. hey, you know, uh, I understand she's young. But again, that's not excuse being young when you, and you're a college student because you can't be both. And that's what I hate about these young young folks. Oh, shoot, you use the word hate. Yeah, they, they, they want to be kids in one situation. Then they want to be adults in another situation. You, got, you, you can't be both. And I, as yeah. a college student, you're supposed to be getting ready to go into the workforce and, you know, become a serious adult about your career. The other thing, too, though, is... A lot of times, especially in our community, mm-hmm. when the child turns 18, we cut them off. I'm done. Yeah. I, it's, it's about me now. Yeah. Listen, my child is yeah. older than 18. Yes, yeah, somebody should have and, told her. you know, she calls me, whether it's for advice, money, whatever the case is. I don't tell her, child, you grown now. Shit, you better leave mm-hmm. me alone. <sighs> well, I, I might give her grief about it sometimes. Yeah. Well, you know, what I, well, are you spending your money on? Well, I know, she, that. I know that she, she, you've been... Uh, Chauffeuring her around. Yeah, I don't have a. I was in a traumatic accident. I say, when my Diana comes home, 
I often put on the pumps in the fish net yes. because she tries to pimp me. I'm not to be here. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. Right. But, but 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 what I'm saying as young people, and especially as adults, we need to tell them when and where they that's proper. They need guidance. Right. Yeah, listen, my mom is no longer here. I'm 46 years old. My mom is no longer here. I find that there's times when I need some advice or I want to talk to somebody. She's not here yeah. to do that. I'm a grown woman, and I still, still. long for the advice of my mother. So yes. you never get, th yeah. there's never a point where you cut your child yeah. off. I'm done with yeah. you. Um, you know, especially when you're going to a court of law. I, and I get tired of these young men. They still want to sag their pants. You're in front of that white judge who already has a preconceived already motion. Already has a day hell. So right. you're, 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 you know, you're not helping your situation if you don't present yourself. I just want to say, where are they daddy at to tell them, yeah. boy, put your pants up. Right. You not only represent yourself, you right. represent me and everybody else. Right. And if you're lucky to get a lawyer, they're going to tell you, Cover your tattoos, clean yourself up. You want to look a certain way. But some way. of these lawyers, they just busy for money and fame. They ain't gonna tell their client, course. "Listen, you might want to put a jacket on." Yeah, of course. But what right. I'm saying is, in a situation like that, you right. want to better your odds of getting on. That's our you... job as their parents. Exactly. Right. So, um, uh, great topic. What are we gonna be talking about Sunday? I'm gonna be talking about Jay Z and P Diddy. I believe it or not, I know what I want to talk about. Okay, right on. Yes. And we're going to be going live on the Demetri K Show on YouTube on Sunday. Oh, so not hey. only are we going to be on Facebook Live, we'll be on YouTube Live. Let me wear my best wig. Plus, <laughs> as long as it's not green. <laughs> and the reason it's green is because of the green screen. Right, I, mean, I want to be bald here. Yeah, there, exactly. Right? <laughs> so uh, we're going to be doing that and uh, look forward to it. DK, 3 p.m. on Sundays. Deme uh, Deanna, you're going to be here for how long? Absolutely. Uh, she thought she was gonna say gonna be on the show. She might say absolutely not <laughs> Monday. Till Monday, <laughs> we're gonna see her then. We'll see you guys then. Um, anything else you guys wanna? No. Just going out. I just hope that somebody really you know yeah, takes the long. messages. Yeah. yeah. yeah I just hope somebody really just takes what I said as not an admonishment. Well, it isn't an admonishment. But in a good way. In a good way. We're trying to help each other. There's and we, we can get have, one. If somebody yes, realizes, let's maybe, save the baby. Yeah, maybe, maybe you're not getting that job because you're going in there with blue hair. Maybe you're not getting that job because you're going there with pink hair. I'm going to tell you as a grown adult, I went to an interview at an airport, which is a very six-figure salary job. I can't go in there with pink hair and expect to, to get the job. What about sagging your pants? I can't go in there and expect to get the job. That's not going to happen. I can go in there, but I... The expectation to get the job it ain't gonna happen. Right. So, yeah, but again, that's our job as teach. the older people in society, the parents and all that, mm -hmm. to teach them that. That's our job. Right. We, we no longer can we continue cutting our children off and then giving the responsibility to, to society. society. Oh well, I send my child to school. What y'all teaching them? Mm -hmm. No. What are you teaching? Teaching them. them? What are you point. teaching them? Good point. So that, that, that's all I have. Good point. You guys, check us out on YouTube. Uh, look for uh, the news from the Edge Mount. We archive all our shows there. You can check it out. Check out the podcast. Check out Demetra K's show. She had a video that went up yesterday. Excellent video. Uh, talked about a lot of good stuff. Uh, her show usually runs an hour and a half. Right. And it goes by quick when we're doing it. Does. It does. You're like, what? Yeah, because she, she, you know, she, she wanted to get a lot of information there. Uh, and I address everybody's comment. Everybody's Everybody, comment. Except so, for Alla. Tell me you skipped right. the comment. <laughs> and, 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 and if you missed uh, our show that we did previous to this one, it is uh, there. Check it out. We were talking about a whole uh, other topics mm -hmm. as well. Uh, uh, Deanna, you want to take us out with a twerk? Absolutely. No. <laughs> okay. So uh, we're going to see you guys again next week. Thanks for listening, and we'll check you guys out then. All right. Bye.